Hello everybody, today I'm going to present you the first two quick VCP based user interfaces for machine kit. So we have here the machine kit client. Um, you can see here the running instances of machine kit on the network. Um, it usually uses MDNS to discover the instances, but you can also select unicast DNS for discovering instances. So uh, when selecting unicast, you have to enter the IP address or the host name of the device uh, manually. So we use multicast DNS in this case. When clicking on the instance, um, the application will resolve um, all available instance uh, user interfaces on this device. Um, you also see here on the left a small button. When you press this again, you can see we have remote user interfaces and local user interfaces. So local user interfaces are available on this device and are deployed within the machine kit client application. The remote user interfaces um, are deployed at runtime uh, you, um, from the machine kit instance. So the user interfaces are basically located uh, on the BeagleBone Black in this case and are deployed remotely when clicking on this specific button. So let's take a look at the local user interface. We have here the service display application, which just uh, displays all the available machine talk um, services running. So for example, we have here the uh, preview service, a command service, a status service, and so on. So you see um, machine talk uses uh, multicast DNS or unicast DNS to announce all the available services. When selecting a remote user interface, like for example the Ketos user interface, the user interface is deployed to your temporary, temporary folder and then executed um, by the machine kit client application. So basically the Ketos user interface um, is something similar to Axis. So it's a user interface that uh, wants to provide uh, every possible feature you want for a CNC machine, but however, it is not specialized for any specific type of machine. You have here uh, the normal controls like e-stop and machine power, opening a file, reload a file, running a, a program, a stepping, pause and stop and also the controls for uh, risk for the preview. So here you have also a preview available. It's rendered using uh, OpenGL ES so it works also on mobile devices and basically on every platform the machine kit client is available. Um, you have a few settings for the preview available, like in Access, for example, uh, you can change the visual appearance of the digital readout. You can enable and disable all kinds of uh, preview um, features, for example, let's Deactivate um, our machine limits. Okay, activate it again. And you have a few different view modes. You can zoom, you can move the view around. So everything uh, 
pretty similar to Axis. Here you have the chalk controls. You can, uh, can select the chalk velocity for every axis. Similar to axis, um, here the step, uh, the, the how far you want to move with the chalk. With the continuous mode, it just moves as far as uh, as long as you press the button. Then you have here the MDI window, so I can enter a G code command here. Um, say X now. Okay, you see here the um, the notifications. We are not home, so we cannot issue a MDI command. Let's home all our access. Of course, it's homed. Now I cannot move to zero. Okay, and it moves to X now. Yeah, this is the Ketos user interface. Now let's take a look at the second user interface. Okay. The machine face user interface is especially designed for uh, small screens, um, meaning tablets and possibly uh, touch, uh, small touch screens. Um, so you see all the buttons here are a bit big for a desktop application. And, but basically it also works on a desktop. So that's the whole idea of, of Qt Quick, uh, that it is that the user interfaces are scalable and you can create one user interface for every possible device or screen size. Um, again, you see here the usual uh, controls, uh, machine power, e-stop, opening a program, reload, yeah, all this kind of stuff. You have here the MDI commands, you have a G-code preview, you have the, the 3D preview, you have a few extra uh, commands and you have the settings window. So you see here. This is designed for a 3D printer, so you have um, some controls for controlling the bed temperature, the, the extruder temperature and also the fan speed, a special feature here, the, the light color. And here you can edit the truck speed. Um, when you open a G-code file, Stop, I've pressed something. Uh, when you open a G code file, you usually will see a Okay, normally you will put okay here uh, you have a preview of the of the G code program. In this case a butterfly. Uh, similar to the preview of axis the Kremlin preview you have also you can also see here the extension um, yeah the, the size of the object um, some li uh, what lines uh, what G code command what the G code commands uh, that are executed do and so on of course this works also in a different kind of preview modes and when selecting lines in the G code source selection menu, okay, when selecting the right corner, you should normally see also here a uh, preview which lines. Um, you have selected. 
Okay, thank you very much. This was a quick preview of Qt Quick VCP and the machine kit user interfaces.